Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through tags in JSP. So there are total three different types of tags. Guys, we will be discussing them in detail or just we will be going through the introduction in this lecture. Okay. Okay. So basically the first type is nothing but declaration guys. From the name only you will be identifying that it is declaring something like variables and their values and all those things. Right. So where we use any variable as a part of JSP. We have to use those variables in the form of declaration tag. So if you want to define int a equal to 10, you cannot directly write it in our normal tag. So this tag is called a scripted tag as we'll be discussing about that also. Don't worry. Okay. So if you are declaring variables, it is mandatory to write an exclamatory mark. So it indicates that you are declaring a variables. Okay. So declaring tag of GSP. Okay. So so it, with exclamatory mark you will be writing if you want a small example so this will be the example guys okay i think the example is clearly visible okay so percentage sorry less than percentage exclamatory mark int a equal to 10 b equal to 30 and closing it so this is nothing but declaration similarly expression so what is expression guys so by adding something you will be getting this is an expression multiplying expression so expression tags are used for writing the java valid expressions as a part of jsp file so it is represented in this way equal to here you will be writing the code it will be in this way so here you defined int a equal to 10 that with exclamatory mark and b equal to 20 after that you are trying to add them so percentage equal to a plus b in this way so the operation will be done is nothing but a plus b will be done fine yes similarly scriptable scriptable is you can say simply you will be writing the whole java pure pure java code guys you will be directly writing into it scriptables are basically used to write pure java code whatever java code we write as a part of scriptable that code will be available as a part of service method of servlet so basically in when you are writing in html inside forums you will be making action right so in action you will be writing the servlet name right so this servlet name will automatically execute this guys will be the code will be written here so whenever that action is done automatically this whole code will be executed so that is the reason why it is called as pure java code okay so i hope everyone got some basic idea about it. tags okay okay so please make sure that you are learning once about this implicit objects guys like implicit objects are nothing but a request like the http request which we send response response is the object that we get okay similarly out so out here we are using for print writer right so print writer we are creating an object out and we are printing it similarly session to establish the meaningful time for a particular thing application okay so it is based on the context and configuration configuration is nothing but for servlet configuration and page context so what is page encapsulated in what does page consists of so that we will be discussing in page context and pages okay similarly exception so if there are any exceptions we will be designing them also okay so this is just an introduction about tags and the implicit object guys okay so i hope everyone got some basic idea on this so in the next lecture we will be going through a small example for jsp methods guys whether methods can be written if yes how can we write them okay so let us meet in the next lecture thank you thanks for watching